Well, of course, according to the UN Charter, any member state has no right to attack another member state except in the case of imminent self-defense. That's what Article 51 of, of, of Charter of, of, of uh, Chapter 50 of 7 means. It means you have a right to defend yourself. Syria says it will retaliate. Legally, according to the UN Charter, it has such a right. The United States is not threatened by Syria, but Syria is threatened by the United States. Well, of course, according to the UN Charter, any member state has no right to attack another member state except in the case of imminent self-defense. That's what Article 51 of, of, of Charter of, of, of uh, Chapter 50 of 7 means. It means you have a right to defend yourself. Syria says it will retaliate. Legally, according to the UN Charter, it has such a right. The United States is not threatened by Syria, but Syria is threatened by the United States. Iran, Syria's principal ally, says that they will attack Israel. If that were to happen, is it even conceivable that this war will not escalate, that this will not become a major a regional conflagration? The stakes are so high, the Obama administration is doing this for purely opportunist purposes and purely in order to do what it says it's not doing, which is designed to topple another independent government in this oil-rich, resource-rich, and geostrategically important part of the world. Mm. Talking about how this may happen, if it does happen, intervention, I was talking to a, a British Conservative MP earlier on who was, who was pro it for humanitarian reasons. I said to him, well, how can you guarantee that uh, there will be no collateral damage, innocent civilians? He said, well, it just goes with the territory. I mean, we're hoping, I guess, that if this does go ahead, these uh, missiles are precise enough to purely target military installations, but there is going to be collateral damage, isn't there? Of course. So people, cruise missile diplomacy is not diplomacy. Cruise missiles are war. The U.S. is conducting a war. It's an illegal war. They have no idea what the so-called collateral damage is. But any person who dies in Syria when the U.S. carries out an unprovoked uh, military operation, an unprovoked illegal military operation in contravention of international law, any person, whether they're a civilian or soldier, those persons' deaths are actually war crimes. And the United States could be held before international bodies for carrying out an unprovoked war of aggression, the crime of breaking the peace, as we learned from Nuremberg. And so there's no such thing as no collateral damage. And we see in Iraq, they said it'll be clean. A million Iraqis died. 5,000 Americans died. But Bush and Rumsfeld and Cheney said, oh, no, this will be fast. It'll just be against military targets. We should reject all of this and know from history, even recent history, that it's not true. Brian Becker from the Answer Anti-War Coalition on the line from Washington, D.C. tonight. Thanks, sir.